everybody and welcome to day 11. So today's class, I've got a little bit of a different class for you today. It is going to be a HIT, which is high intensity interval training fused with our typical vinyasa yoga classes. So for this, we're going to be finding some typical yoga poses that we do in our classes, but I'm just going to be having high repetitions, getting that heart rate up, maybe getting a little bit warm, a little bit sweaty, and just creating a little bit of a different fun class for you guys. So please let us know if you enjoy this class. And I love doing HIIT classes. I think it's great. It's a really nice combination to do with yoga as well. So this is a great fusion of the two. Let us know if you like to do HIIT classes or any other cardio that you do. Do you run? Do you cycle? We really want to know. Give us all the information in the comments below. And I hope you enjoy this class. toes pointing forwards and then we're going to start with a little bend in those legs and then just start to roll the shoulders up towards the ears rolling them back and down take a big breath in and out through the mouth and again inhaling and big exhale and from here just gently going to sway side to side let those arms be really heavy and they just sway twisting round, a little bend in those legs, and then you can start to gradually build up that twist, getting bigger and bigger, letting those hands slap all the way around, loosening off that lower back, those arms are nice and heavy, big bend in those legs, and then we'll gradually come all the way back. So that centre point getting smaller and smaller until we all the way get back, arms down both sides, give them a little shake. And then from here, let's take your feet just a little bit out wide, toes pointing forwards. We're going to inhale, bring the arms up overhead, and I want to interlace them. We're going to find something called wood chops. Now here, it's really energising this. I want you to have a nice bend in those legs. We inhale here, we reach those arms up a little higher. As we exhale, we take a big forward fold and we chop like we're chopping wood. We bring those hands all the way back and down. Inhale, they come all the way back up. So we're going to do five. Inhale here. Exhale, we take that wood chop. And inhale back up. Exhale down. Inhale back up. Exhale down, inhale back up, two more, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale back up, bringing those feet together now, toes touching heels slightly apart, just bring those palms to touch overhead, inhale, reach up, as we exhale, hinge at the hips, we take a forward fold all the way down towards the ground, inhale, slide the hands up, the shins find a flat back, Exhale, we'll take a slow vinyasa, plant the hands down, stepping back to high plank, strong core. Inhale here. Exhale, we take a chaturanga, shift forward, shoulders over the wrists. Now you can drop your knees or keep them lifted, strong core, elbows back, halfway, that little push up. Inhale, flipping onto the tops of the feet, press those feet down, lift the whole body up, straighten those arms, roll the shoulders back, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, strong core, find that downward facing dog, a little bend in the legs, keeping that spine nice and long. Inhaling here, press down through those hands, lengthening out the back, lengthen out through the backs of the legs. Exhale to stay. If you want, you can start to walk through the feet, Finding a little bit more movement, stretching out through those calves, the feet, the toes. Inhale and exhale. One more breath here and down the dog. As we exhale, we're going to bend the knees, look between the hands. You can step or walk the feet all the way up towards the top toes together. Inhale, we find that halfway lift flat back. Exhale, we take a fold, squeeze that core, drawing yourself down. Inhale, rolling up to standing, bring the arms up overhead, palms touch, and exhale, bring the palms at the chest. From here, we're going to take our feet out wide to the width distance of the mat. 
turning the toes out slightly, so you've got that 45 degree angle with your feet, and then we're going to start to bend into the legs, coming down into our yoga squat, so the malasana. So we bend into the knees, make sure those knees are drawing out wide, and we want to keep those heels down on the ground, so if they start to lift, then just bring those hips up a little bit higher, we want to think about drawing those knees out wide, spine nice and long, if you can, take those hips all the way down, maybe you need to readjust those feet, bring them a little closer, pressing the knees out, you can even use the backs of the arms or your hands to draw those knees out a little bit wider, lengthening out through the spine, inhale here, and exhale to stay. Now we're going to come into our yoga squats. So we're going to press down through those feet, standing up nice and tall, lift the arms up overhead, inhale, press those hips forward, squeeze the glutes, and as we exhale, we sink right back down, find that malasana. And again, inhale, power up, squeeze the glutes, lift the arms, exhale, sinking back down, yoga squat. And again, inhale, power up, exhale, back down. Inhale, we go up, exhale, back down. And again, inhale, strong through those legs, exhale, back down. Three more, inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Knees drawing out wide, last time, inhale, and exhale back down. Now from here, we're gonna bring those hands out in front, start to straighten the legs, lift the hips a little higher, so you notice that you can put more weight into your hands. This first one, we're gonna step back, stepping the feet back to our high plank position. Strong core, inhale. Exhale, take that chaturanga, shift forwards, you can use your knees for support halfway. Inhale to your back bend, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, hips up and back. Find that downward facing dog. Just one breath here, inhale together. Exhale, we bend the knees, look to the top of the mat. Now you're gonna step the feet to the outsides of the hands, back to that malasana, back to that yoga squat. Sink the hips down, palms at the chest. We then inhale, power up, straighten the legs, lift the arms, and exhale, bring the palms at the chest. So here we're gonna find what I like to call my yoga burpees. So it's like this, but we're going to move a little bit quicker. We can either step or hop back through that vinyasa. So first of all, we inhale, we reach the arms up. Exhale, sinking down into that yoga squat. Bring the hands down, lift the hips. Now step or hop back through your chaturanga strong core. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Just one breath, inhale. Exhale, we bend the knees, look to the top. Now you can step or try hopping the feet to the outsides of the hands. Big jump up, gently placing those feet down, hips sink down, palms at the chest. We then inhale, power up, reach those arms up, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, palms at the chest. We go again, inhale. Exhale, yoga squat. Arms down, hips up, finding that malasana all the way back through your chaturanga. Inhale to our cobra or back or upward facing dog. And exhale, hips up and back, a downward facing dog. One breath, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the top of the mat, step walk or hop the feet to the outsides of the hands. Sink those hips down, palms at the chest. We inhale, power up, standing strong through those legs. And exhale, palms at the chest. Keep going, inhale. Exhale, yoga squat. Inhale, plant the hands, lift the hips. Exhale, stepping or hopping back through your chaturanga. Inhale to our back bend. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Just one breath, we're moving fast, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, or look to the top. You can step or hop the feet to the outsides of the hands. Sink the hips down, palms at the chest. Inhale, standing up strong, lift those arms. And exhale, palms to the chest. One more round, inhale, lift them up. Exhale, sink the hips down. Inhale, plant the hands, lift the hips. Stepping or hopping back through your chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. And exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog, one breath, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the top step or hop the feet to the outside of the hands. Sink the hips down, palms at the chest. Inhale, stand up strong, reach those arms. And exhale, hands at the chest, elbows out wide. We're going to come down into our malasana one more time. Bend into the legs, knees drawing out wide. This time, I'm going to take your hands behind you. 
and you're gonna roll all the way onto your back. As we get there, just take a big breath in and big breath out. So feeling a little bit warmer, got that heart rate up. Now we're gonna work a little bit into that core now. So I want you to bring that right knee into your chest, yeah, let your left leg go out long, squeezing that core, lifting that left foot off the ground. Interlace the hands behind the head and then draw that opposite knee to elbow. Twisting through the core, see if you can get that right knee and right left elbow to touch. We're then gonna find 20 bicycle crunches. So we're gonna go for one and two. Exhale as we twist, three, Four, five, really twist there, get that knee to elbow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. Now from here, I want you to let both legs go out long, still hovering them off the ground. Round those shoulders, lift them off the ground. Really squeeze that core in. We're holding this hollow hold. Keep those feet off the ground, lower back flat on the mat. Rounding those shoulders up. You can have the arms by the sides or reaching up overhead. Inhale, exhale to stay. Really suck that belly button in. Squeeze that core, inhale. One more time, exhale. Inhaling here, this time exhale, relax down on the ground, big breath in, and big breath out, and again, inhale, and exhale, you can bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a little squeeze, rocking side to side, just massaging that lower back. Just preparing yourself, we're gonna do that just one more time. So finding 20 bicycle crunches and then finishing with that hollow hold. Inhale, and exhale. So when you're ready, we're gonna let that left leg go out long, right knee in, interlace the hands behind the head, left elbow, right knee, we twist. We're going for 20, we go for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stick with this. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Just five more. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Last one. Twenty. Find that hollow hold. Both feet out. Arms by the sides or up overhead. Really squeeze that core in. Shoulders rounded. Keep those legs nice and active, point those toes, everything is active, inhale, exhale to stay. One more time, inhale here, squeeze that core, and exhale, oh, relax. Big breath in here, oh, big breath out. And again, inhale, and exhale. From here, I just want you to roll all the way onto your belly, but keep your head up at this end. You're rolling onto the belly and finding our sphinx pose. So bringing those elbows underneath your shoulders, forearms down, hands planting down, toes untucked, and then you're gonna find your stroller shoulders back and you're gonna feel this lovely stretch through that core. Roll the shoulders back, inhale. Exhale to stay. If you want a deeper back bend here, you can press down through those hands, start to lift the forearms off the ground. Really roll those shoulders back, inhaling, and exhaling. Feeling that lovely stretch through that core, and exhale. And lowering the forearms back down, and then we're gonna roll back onto our back. And once we're there, bring the knees into the chest, squeeze them in, and then start to rock up and down the spine, rounding that back. Finding that momentum, we're gonna roll all the way up to standing. I want to challenge you, see if you can not use your hands to get all the way up, to take that momentum, take that rock. Next time we come forwards, I'm gonna come all the way up to a forward fold, standing at the top of the mat, and then taking, rolling up to standing, all the way up, bringing the arms up overhead. And then exhale, bring the palms out the chest, elbows out wide. 
Now from here, making sure those feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna find some lunges now. So working up into those legs a little bit. From here, on an inhale, I want you to bring the right knee into the chest. So working with balance a little bit here. So squeeze that core, right knee in, focusing on something in front of us. Inhale. As we exhale, I want to shoot that right foot all the way towards the back of the mat, bringing those arms up overhead. And then we take a little lunge down. So dropping that knee towards the ground, finding this lunge. We're then gonna power back up. As we inhale, we step all the way back up onto that left leg. Working with balance, we bring that right knee back into the chest. So you may feel a little bit wobbly, but really focus on something in front of us. We're gonna go for five. Inhale here. Exhale, shoot that leg back, lowering the knee down. Power up, inhale. Drawing that right knee into the chest. Exhale, shoot it back, find that lunge. Inhale, power back up, right knee into the chest. Exhale, shoot it back. Inhale, powering up, two more. Exhale, finding that lunge. Inhale, power up. Exhale, finding that lunge. Last time, inhale, powering that knee up and then bring that foot back down and just walk through the feet, stretching out through those toes. Inhale, and exhale. And then going through the other side, taking the weight onto that right foot now. We start to bring the left knee into the chest. Inhale here. As we exhale, shoot that foot back, bring those arms up overhead, drop that back knee down, find that lunge. We're gonna power back up. Inhale, standing up strong, bring that left knee into the chest. Exhale, shoot it back. Inhale, power up. Exhale, take it back. Working with that balance. Inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale, take it back. One more time, inhale up. And exhale, take it back. This time, inhale, power that knee into the chest. And then bring that foot back down, walking through the feet. Inhaling here. And exhale. Feet hip distance apart. We'll take a forward fold, hinging at the hips. You can have a little bend in those legs. And just fold the body down, let those arms be heavy. Shake the head, shake the arms, inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. This time we're all rolling up to standing, nice and slowly, all the way back up. Now we're gonna go through those lunges just one more time. You can either go through the variation we just did or we're gonna add a little jump. So I'll just give you a demonstration. We bring that right knee to the chest. We take that leg back, finding that lunge, and then either just drawing the knee into the chest or this time we draw it in and we take a little hop. So we're gonna work on a little bit of hopping now, finding more strength in those legs. So when you're ready, bringing that right knee to the chest, roll those shoulders back, inhale. As we exhale, shoot that leg back, find that lunge. And we inhale, power up, find that jump. And again, exhale, draw it back. Inhale, power up. Exhale, draw it back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale back, inhale up, last time, exhale back, inhale jump, and then bringing that foot down, walking through the feet. Last time on this left side, we're going to bring that left knee into the chest. So we inhale, bring that left knee in, as we exhale, shoot that foot back, finding that lunge. Going for those power-ups now. We inhale, jumping up, exhale, take it back. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale, lunge. Inhale, hop, exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. Two more, inhale, exhale back. Inhale, up, exhale back. Last time, jump, inhale. And then bringing that foot down, walking through the feet. Inhale here. And exhale, release. Little bend in those legs once again, finding that forward fold, hinging at the hips. Let the head be heavy, let the arms be heavy. Inhale. And exhale. Hopefully we should have got that heart rate up a little bit. Feeling a little warmer in the body. 
Inhale and exhale. From here, we'll start to bend into those legs, taking the hips all the way down towards the ground. Bring those hands behind you, and once again, finding ourselves lying on our backs. I'm just slowing down the class now. Let the left leg go up long, bring the right knee into the chest, just drawing it in. Inhale here, squeeze the knee in. Exhale, guide that knee over towards the left, find this gentle twist, releasing into the spine. Enjoying the stillness now, inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. This time, inhale, come back through center. Let the right leg go out long. Bring the left knee into the chest, draw it in. Inhale, squeeze the knee in. Exhale, guide that knee over towards the right. Bringing out through that spine. Nice long breaths, inhale. And exhale. And slowly now, taking yourself all the way onto your back. And you can let the legs go out long, arms by the sides. Just finding the Shavasana. If you want, you can plant the feet down, take the feet out wide to the width distance of the mat, and then let the knees fall in. This is just a different, different resting pose where it just feels nice on your lower back. Or you can either have the legs out long if that's more comfortable for you. I want you to close your eyes. And just really focus on getting that heart rate back down. Letting all the muscles relax, release. Feeling the body melting into the ground. Just start to take a big breath in and out. And again, big inhale, big sigh out. And we'll start to bring the knees into the chest, giving them a little squeeze, rocking side to side. Either rolling all the way onto your side, or you can start to roll all the way up. And eventually coming into a seated position and just closing off this class. We'll bring the palms together at the chest. Namaste.